Uh, he's had a hard 99.5 here. Who we got? We've got George. Um, today we've been playing Voices Post. And this is Post Phantom Nightmare, yeah. of course, guys. This is a new set, the new cards. Show us, George, of the new virtuals. All right, so start off, obvious, three low. This yeah, these ones are good. Main so we we'll just do it this way for you. First so time, guys, he doesn't know. The whole deck revolves around this card. You need this card. This counts as a whole tribute. Sets up your game. This is a one card starter, right? So good. Next is Safira. Yep. So she is um your searcher, right? Yeah. She's a searcher for your ritual monsters and enables you to actual ritual summon using herself. That's pretty good. Not only that, but she sends the ritual spell, which even though it's cost to search, it can it helps you set up your board if they break it for like super poly or something, because the ritual spell itself helps you recover from board breaks. That's awesome. And then we play the one Soravis for the um, just the normal effect monsters. So it allows you to bounce back and summon any light ritual dragon or warrior. Ritual That's pretty monster. cool. Then just for the rituals, two Skull Guardian and then two Soravis. Soravis, I wouldn't even mind putting up to three just because it's not even a brick as it does something in the hand, unlike Skull Guardian for the most part. Yep. It's a targeting negate. It's really good against Princess in this format and like things like Econ and just anything that targets at all. Imper and Veil are so yeah. good, yeah. It just it just stops all of that. That's so that's awesome. mainly for the voices voice monsters, that's most of it. Then we play also a one card starter is our free diviner with the one trios. Yep. So Diviner lets you send any fairy monster from deck or extra deck. Most of the time if you're starting your combo it will be the trios. If not, this is a very good board breaker. It can send Entis. Or even if you have this in hand and just need follow up, you can send um, Herald of um, Arclight. So these these are very very good in the deck. Nice. And then for spells, we've got two ritual spell. I think it's perfect at two. Doesn't need to be up. It's just really a, it's a power card because it just helps you come back when your board's gone. We have three of the barrier. Helps you add protects your card. It's just insane. It, yeah, like, this card's so good, guys. You can't. You can't. You can't they can't target anything, mm -hmm. and it just makes them attack your 4,100 feet. Basically a monster. dofog effect, yeah, yeah, it's so good. And something not normal, I play two of the trap. I felt that in grind games, this came up a lot. Having two of the trap, because once you use this destruction effect, it can't come back. So having an another one, as much as it might seem like a brick, it's not awful drawing it, because then you set up this and you don't need to go through the Dynamondo line and then you don't risk your board being broken. So that's it for the voices, voice spells and traps. And then for the other spells, we just play three pre prep. Yep. One, one for one. Three prosperity for the yep. normal spells. Prosperity, consistency card, our extra deck is not 100% necessary and we can afford this. One for one is my 41st card and it came up so much today and it just felt like I could play so much better just because of this card. And pre prep is one of the best cards you can open in your hand. Helps you play through Droll immaculately. You add two cards of one search, and so even if you get drolled half the time, you can still play, you can still make a board, and it's mainly because of this card. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then, mainly, like, our non-engine and board breakers, we've got three super poly, really good in the deck, and three talents. Talents was incredible. It just, as soon as something was done, you know, rip a card from their hand, take something you needed, use it as ritual fodder as well. So you, you, getting rid of like two three things with one card and super poly is just you know super poly is so good like it's, just, <laughs> it's just way too good not to play and then for just hand traps just it's just three imperm and three nibiru yeah nibiru i feel like it's a must play in the main deck for two reasons it's really good against decks like um snake eye and even just some things like as much as the goblin bikers isn't irrelevant some they just it just hits it as well as its level being 11. It can be used even if it's dead in your hand. You just ritual it off, and then you've got, you've got your combo started just by getting it away. That's awesome. Now we'll get into the extra deck. Let's see this spicy extra right. deck. So, Typhon for sure. Because Typhon, great card. I play a Zeus combo. So we play one Lyrilusk. This can attack directly twice, and it usually hits your opponent for 800, but it's not relevant. And then we play the Akashic Magician. Oh, down in addition, sorry. Yeah. And the Zeus. So you just came up today, ranked up into this using two lows, this on top, this on top, and it just makes so much extra interruption of just such a little piece of gameplay. Yeah. Then we play for uh, Diviner targets, we play 
one Herald of Arclight and one Entus. Yeah. Entus is a board breaker. It helps make your, what's very important is both level four. Makes your Diviner a level six monster and it can be used to send the Diviner and a low from hand. And then you can get two lows on the field, which can help you go into your Little Lust line. That's pretty good. Then two Super Poly targets just for now. Garura and Mud Dragon. I want to put in uh, Earth Golem at Ignista because it really hits like decks like Fire King. It just it more super poly targets probably needed. Yeah. But for now, this is a stand. Like you can't go wrong with it. Then we play just Axis Code Talker, SP, Dark, Lanya, two Dynamondo, and the Relinky. Why two Dynamondo? So, Dynamondo. Um, Sometimes I like the second just to pitch it off prosperity, but also if I'm going second, like if I go first and then for a third turn, mm -hmm. setting up another Dynamondo just to get back into the trap, get back into a spell I need to, and also it's a um, a removal spell. It puts it back into the deck. It doesn't destroy. It doesn't ban it. It doesn't. It just puts it back into the deck by shuffling your own ritual monster as well. Pretty good. So not only does it help you just um, what's the word? Put, like put back your monsters for play. It also is acts as an interruption. Which yeah, is which is good, yeah. yeah. And oh, well. we play play Dark as well as the Anima, just because Anima takes and then it goes into Dark, because Dark monsters are more relevant than Light monsters. You're more likely to see like a, a Witch or a DD Crow or something, and you'll be able to take that, and that can go into your Axis Code Talker. Yeah. Nice. So that's pretty much it for the extra deck. We'll get to the side deck. So for side, play one Pendulum Graph. This didn't really come up much today, but it's a Spell Negate. And if you have room in your extra deck, you can play um, an Odd Eyes extra deck monster just to summon out as its cost. Play three Bell, because it hits, I feel like it hits a lot more decks than Ash right now. And it just, it can, I feel like it covers more than Ash at the moment and doesn't help play into Heater, which can go into Princess. DD, three DD Crow, because this card's just insane. It, for example, if they were to go into Flamberge yep. and they trigger Flamberge and Populous, you hit one of the targets and only Populous can resolve. So you oh, can, nice. it, it's basically like oh. a second bell almost. Play two Kurikara just for that nice board break when you just can't, you just can't find like, you play like Nadim or something and they eat everything and then you just you just eat their board. Yep. A Droll is pretty obvious. Good it's just, card. It's just the best card in the was go, I was main, deck, main decking this, but then for the sole fact it's level one made it not good yeah because i just could not it would be stuck to my hand i could not get rid of it sometimes and then it just i couldn't tribute it off that's why nibiru just came up so much better yep that's for the monsters pretty much it and then you just play three anti-spell because this card was just mental just, yeah this card just poked it, it, felt, it felt like a turn skip basically yeah and you don't care because you every all the spell cards you have you just place them so yeah. it, it completely bypasses this effect yeah that's pretty much it for the deck profile any shout outs my friend Shout out to Yellow Heart. Thank you. And shout out to RC Crew for just being an amazing locals. Awesome, man. I hope to see you win the OTS and, yeah. you know, top the regionals, man. Of course, it's Western Switch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lose your voice, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good one, man. You too.